In this video, I will cover what is MEV, the five main types of MEV trading bots, the most useful tools for MEV trading bots, and the best strategy to make money with MEV trading bots as a beginner. Are you ready to become rich? If yes, like this video. And if you want to stay poor, like this video anyway. MEV is a fascinating topic, but it's also very underground and it's hard to find some reliable information. Fortunately, you'll find my channel Eat the Blocks where I teach developers how to make money on the blockchain, including with MEV. With MEV, some blockchain developers made up to $1 million per month. Yes, you heard me right, not per year, per month. Enough to buy Lambos for the whole family. In total, $1.2 billion were earned thanks to MEV. So what is this weird MEV thing? The original meaning of MEV was minor extractable value. It's a set of strategies to make money on the blockchain. Originally, MEV was exclusively exploited by miners. Miners are entities that process new transactions and add them to the blockchain. Because of their unique place in the blockchain ecosystem, miners enjoy special privileges such as seeing transaction first, selecting the transactions to be included in the next block, and being able to reorder transactions. Thanks to these privileges, miners are able to extract value from users, hence the name Miner Extractable Value. Okay, so now you are probably thinking, it sounds great, but I'm not a miner, so it seems like I cannot do this MEV thing, right? Even though at the beginning MEV was only for miners, later other actors that were not miners also took advantage of MEV strategies. We call these searchers. If you are a blockchain developer who is trying to make money with MEV and you are not a miner, you are considered a searcher. And because not only miners can make money with MEV, the definition of MEV was changed from minor extractable value to maximal extractable value. Let's see a specific example of MEV with arbitrage. To understand arbitrage, we first need to cover decentralized exchanges. Decentralized exchanges allow traders to buy and sell tokens on the blockchain. The same token can be traded on different exchanges. Most of the time, the token has the same price everywhere, but sometimes the same token can have a different price on different exchanges. And this is when it gets interesting. The price discrepancy usually doesn't last a long time, but it's an opportunity to make money with arbitrage. Let's see an example. Let's say that the token ABC trades at $100 on exchange 1 and at one of $5 on exchange 2. To make money with arbitrage, you buy the token ABC at $100 on exchange 1 and you sell it at one of $5 on exchange 2. Congratulations, you just made a $5 profit. But how about if you had more capital? For example, if you do the arbitrage on $10,000, now your profit increases to $500. And you can even automate the process by writing a script. Your script needs to monitor the price of tokens across different exchanges. When it detects a discrepancy, it automatically sends a transaction to do the arbitrage. And ta-da, you collect your profits automatically even when you sleep. But don't stop here. Now you need to diversify your source of income with another trading bot. And that's why we are going to talk of another example of MEV, liquidation. To understand liquidation, we first need to cover lending platforms. Lending platforms allow traders to borrow and lend tokens on the blockchain. To borrow a token, you need to provide another token as a collateral. The value of the collateral needs to always stay higher than the value of the amount that you borrowed, plus a security margin. If the value of the collateral falls below a certain threshold, the loan is considered underwater, and anybody can liquidate it. When someone liquidates a loan, they have to reimburse the amount of money that was borrowed, and in reward, they get a portion of the collateral remaining. This will cover what was initially provided to liquidate the loan, plus a profit. To automate this process, you have to run a script that monitors lending platforms. Whenever the script sees a loan underwater, it triggers the liquidation process. It's like magic money. And while our trading bots are running in the background, let's take a quick pause to talk about a very important message from our sponsor, Decomas. Decomas Mission Control API is a developer-friendly API that provides access to structured blockchain data. 
On build.decommas.io, developers can get access to free API keys in a matter of seconds, providing access to one of the fastest cross-chain Web3 API out there. The API is extremely fast with response times below 200 milliseconds and is highly cost efficient. It currently supports 8 EVM chains and has a developer-friendly SDK available. By using the API, you can quickly build amazing blockchain apps such as portfolio trackers, wallet, dApp, DEXs, and bridge aggregators. All right, let's get back to MEV. I promised you five trading bots, so here's the third one. This is called sniping. When a new token is listed on a decentralized exchange, at the beginning, the price usually goes up really fast. And after that, it crashes as fast. That's the infamous pump and dump. I know what you're thinking. What if you could buy the new tokens before the pump begin and sell them before the top? In theory, you could make a lot of money. Unfortunately, only the rich, famous or friends of the project founder have access to pre-sales. And since you are none of that, you need another solution. But fortunately, with a sniping bot, you don't need to know anybody. A sniping bot will listen to new token listing, automatically buy them and sell them after a predetermined duration or after achieving a certain profit. And of course, you will not win all the time. Sometimes you will buy a token that will never go up in value and you will lose money. But on average, this strategy works. Another example of MEV is sandwich attack. Step one, buy a sandwich. Step two, wait a few days until the bread becomes hard. Step three, knock someone out with your sandwich and take their money. No, I'm kidding, of course. A sandwich attack is non-violent, don't worry. To understand sandwich attacks, we first need to cover slippage. Slippage means that when someone buys a large quantity of tokens, it's going to make the price go up. What if we could know in advance large buy orders? We could perhaps take advantage of this information. Well, we'll get there, but first we need to cover the concept of mempool. When someone sends a new transaction to the blockchain, it goes in a bucket called the mempool. It's a list of all pending transactions that haven't been processed yet. What's really interesting is that everybody can see what's inside the mempool, even if you are not a miner. In a sandwich attack, you first need to identify a large buy order in the mempool. After, you will send two transactions, a buy order before and a sell order after. The target transaction will be between your two transactions. In the end, you will make money because the large order in the middle will make the price go up, which will allow you to resell your tokens at a higher price. Now, there is a caveat. If you are a miner, it's easy to reorder transactions, which is great for sandwich attacks. But if you are not a miner, you don't control directly the order of transactions, but you can influence it. Miners want to make as much money as possible. That's why they prioritize transactions with higher transaction fees by sending your buy order with a higher transaction fee and a sell order with a lower transaction fee, you can influence the order of the transaction, but there is no guarantee. The next example of MEV is front running. This one is really sneaky, but very profitable. Why do the work yourself if other can do it for you, for free? With front running, the idea is to copy any profitable transactions from the mempool, and you don't even need to understand what the transaction is doing. How can we do that? The first step is to monitor the mempool for any transaction that are profitable. It's possible to simulate the result of a transaction before it's mined. If the sending address has more money after the transaction, it means it's a profitable transaction. It could be an arbitrage, a liquidation, or something else. You don't even need to understand the transaction, you just need to know that it's profitable. The next step is to send the same transaction, but from your own address with a higher transaction fee. Since miners prioritize transactions with the highest transaction fees, your transaction will be included before the victim transaction. Your transaction will succeed and you will make money. But the victim transaction will fail because you already took the money. Now I have some bad news for you. Front running can also work against you. Anybody can try to front run your own front running transactions. Remember, all the transactions in the mempool are public, including yours. Everybody can see what you are doing. Very ironic, I know, but what can you do about it? Are we doomed? No. The first solution is to partner with the miner. You send your MEV transaction to this miner, the miner keeps this transaction private, and you share the profits with the miner. The miner benefits from your expertise with MEV transactions, and you benefit from their expertise in running mining software. It's a win-win. 
Unfortunately, because you need this special relationship with a miner, it makes it difficult for searchers to run MEV training bots. Is there any other solution? Yes. Enter the world of Flashbots. Flashbot is an organization that was created to democratize the access to MEV. With Flashbot, anybody can be a searcher and run MEV training bots without partnering with a miner. Technically, Flashbot is a network that receives transactions in a private mempool separate from the public mempool. Flashbot bundlers group together transactions into bundles, and they send these bundles to miners. Miners choose the most profitable bundles and include them in the next block. Bundles are atomic, either all transactions inside are mined in a predictable order or not mined at all. For searchers, the Flashbot system means that you don't need to partner with a miner, nobody will front run you since your transaction goes to a trusted private mempool, and you have a guarantee that you never pay transaction fees for nothing since your transaction will either succeed or not be mined at all. Flashbot is an amazing tool for running MEV training bots, but there is something else that you absolutely have to know. I'm talking of flash loans. Flash loans allow you to make your MEV training bots way more profitable. With a flash loan, you can borrow money on the blockchain. For example, if you want to do arbitrage, with a flash loan, you can get the capital to get way more leverage. Instead of doing an arbitrage of $10,000, you could do an arbitrage with $1 million. A flash loan is very different from a traditional loan. There is no application process. Everybody can borrow money with a flash loan. There is zero collateral required and it works entirely with code. I know it sounds crazy. I already have a ton of video about flash loans on my channel, so I'm not going to go into the details. But if you want to know more, you can check out this playlist. But the point is that you can get the capital you need to run MEV trading boats. To be successful with MEV trading bots, you need a good strategy. As a solo searcher, you should focus on blockchains other than Ethereum, such as Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. That's because there is less competition there. On the blockchain you choose, focus on the top 15 DeFi projects. Study the code of these projects, follow their news, and be very reactive when they roll out a new update. You might be the first one to pick up on a new opportunity. Now you understand what is MEV, and what are the main strategies to make money with it? And you probably wonder how to get started. You can either use some already existing MEV trading bots, but they usually don't work very well or worse, they are outright scams. Or you can create your own trading bots and it's usually way better because you won't get scammed and it gives you way more flexibility. And for this, you need to learn blockchain development. That's why you should watch this other video on my channel where I will give you a step-by-step -step roadmap to learn blockchain development. This covers everything from beginner to advanced level. So go check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.